I'm just out here uh, in County Tyrone on the back roads in the countryside testing out the live video of the Canon 5D Mark IV. I have a 50mm f1.8 STM lens on. Open at f1.8 and the video shutter speed is 1 50th of a second. And I've maxed the ISO out at 25,600. <laughs> Very dark night tonight, but there's Orion. There's some wispy clouds blowing past here, reflecting the distant lights of Cookstown. You can see Orion's belt on the left, uh, the three stars slanted, and down below that there's a faint line as well, stars, that's Orion's sword. And there's a faint fuzzy star in the middle of that, that's the Orion Nebula M42, which was looking out for the telescope. And upper left is bright star Betelgeuse, or Betelgeuse, and lower right is the bright hot white star Rigel. So just a test. I'm gonna try this in this panning up. There into the Hyades with Aldebaran. And the clouds are moving in. And over here is Gemini with Castor and Pollux. I actually had the telescope out there a while ago and I was observing Comet 67P, which is currently very close to the upper right of Pollux. I could see the comet uh, very clearly in the 10 inch telescope with a nice bright uh, central condensation, DC about 6. Uh, Coma was much larger than I seen it during the last dark period, I'd say in the 4, four or 5 arc minute range and I could see a tail about 7 arc minutes long, straight dust tail. So now I'm going to pan the camera up further again. Now that's Riga with bright star Capella to the upper left and that bright star to the lower right down here close by to that star is another comet we were observing earlier uh, John Fagan and I and that was 29P Schwarzman Wachmann 1 the very famous outbursting comet so we picked that up earlier there uh, the coma is very large on it and extremely low surface brightness very difficult to see barely brighter than the background sky uh, no obvious condensation, uh, but cool to see because it was so faint and because of the outburst, so that's a normal one ticked off the list. Currently waiting on Comet Leonard to rise, it'll probably do for another night, because I need to be up around 5 or 6 a.m. to see it in Ursa Major. Oh, I'm going to lift this up, see if I can help. And here, there's Ursa Major rising there. The two stars on the right are Dupe and Merak. They're the pointer stars. You follow them up, you come to Polaris. There it is, Polaris, the North Star. So that's how you find the North Star using Dupe and Merak. And over here, behind the trees, we have the Milky Way setting. Obviously, you won't see it in the video, but there's Cygnus the Swan. Bright star to the top is Deneb. So that's the Northern Cross, as it's called, or Cygnus the Swan. Up here is a faint constellation with only one or a couple of bright stars shown, but you can barely see it. That's Cepheus, and directly above that is Cassiopeia, the W. Uh, Square of Pegasus here, Andromeda Galaxy is in there somewhere. You won't be able to see that in the video. And over here, of course, is the Pleiades star cluster of the Seven Sisters, with the Hyades and Aldebaran with Antares the Bull. And back down again to Orion. So yeah, I'm just testing out this new lens. It's a 50mm f1.8 as I said, very very fast lens. I would like to get the f1.4 at some stage. And the ISO is completely maxed out. But you know, I'm quite impressed with me picking any of this up. You hear a river running in the background. I'm on a famous location here, but I'm not going to say where. Uh, we went with some nice torrid meteors earlier, I actually captured one during a time lapse. About magnitude, magnitude 2, 20 degree long golden red tail. And in the, in the multiple exposures I took, I actually picked up a small um, smoke, smoke trail changing shape on their upper atmospheric ones, which is really cool. So. I'll probably uh, uh, post that time lapse later.
again that was the new 50mm lens so yeah I'm walking out to the middle of a road here Urson Major problem with uh, Comet Leonard right there's the handle of the plough the middle star there is called Alcorn Mizar uh, the American Indians knew it as the horse and rider it's actually an optical double star now Comet Leonard is below the horizon it's in the southern part of Ursa Major, below the, uh, the paws of the bear, in the region of Skye between Ursa Major and Cannes Venetici, the hunting dogs, and Coma Berenices. I can't even see Cannes Venetici at the minute, but somewhere below those trees, anyway, and on the horizon. And there's a lot of LP in that direction and atmospheric extinction. So, in order to see Leonard, I reckon I'm going to have to get up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, some of these nights very soon, drive out to a dark location to pick it up. But there's the main seven stars of uh, the plough, the asterism of the plough and again the pointer stars do pay Merak straight up here and there you go you're at Polaris the North Star so there goes my tour of the night sky tonight okay